Hello friends, this is Chandu Prashant. Today we are going to discuss about design and implementation of stacks, beverages, vending machine using Verilog HDL, Verilog Hardware Description Language. So it is one of the many projects. So this project main aim is to design a vending machine. Okay, main aim is to design a vending machine. It can disperse three variety of products. Three variety of products like newspapers and uh, chocolates and coke. Okay, three different types of products. And uh, we have incorporated some additional feature also. That is return change. For example, when a coin of higher denomination is inset, when it will return the money when request is cancelled. Here the machine accepts the coins of denominations only 5 rupees and 10 rupees. Remember. Okay, here the FSM approach is adopted for the design of the vending machine. It is the FSM that we want to design. It consists of mainly it is a S0 state and it is a S5 state. Okay, and it is a S10 state and it is a S15 state and uh, it one will be the S20 state. It is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is in 5 state FSM. We have to implement this FSM. If we can able to implement this FSM, so we can able to complete this project. Okay, it is our agenda. Okay, so see the introduction. Initially, we have to start the vending machine and we have, it is a working. Okay, we have to select the product, which product we want. And after that, we have to insert the coin. After that, it will going to increment the count. So if you press the if user press the cancel button, immediately it will return the money. Okay. If user does not press cancel button, if the inserted money is equal to the price of the product, immediately it will dispense the product. If inserted money is greater than the price of the product, it will give the product along with the change also. Okay, and it will decrement the count. It is the working of our project. Okay, so first of all, you have to remember these three things. For example, product A in the sense, we have to select a signal that is 00. zero. Product A in the sense, select signal 00. zero. Product A cost is 5 rupees. Remember, product B in the sense, select a signal 01. And product B cost is 10 rupees. That is chocolate, we have assumed. And if we want to select product C, we have to assume the selection line 10. And product C cost is 15 rupees, that is Coke, we have assumed. And we have inserted only the denomination of 5 rupees and 10 rupees. And 5 rupee coin is, inser is uh, represented using binary 01, and 10 can be represented using 10. Okay, so just for understanding quality, so we have so assumed all these conditions, okay. And uh, let's see the design code. So, in order to design this project, uh, so we are using the software called as Xilinx Vivado, so version 2015.2. Let me open my design code. So, it is a design code. So, if you can see, it is a module declaration, name of the module it will be the vending machine uh, here clock uh, clock is used for uh, synchronous operations and uh, reset it will reset the vending machine to initial state and the cancel state and it will cancel the transaction and refunds the money with the user press cancel button and uh, it is input and it represents the coin input one zero that means uh, 0, 01 indicate 5 rupees, 10 indicate 10. Okay, it is a 2 bit binary. And uh, select if uh, the user can select 00, zero it is product A. If user can select 0, 01, it is product B. If user can select 10, it is product C. And respective cost also mentioned here. Okay, and uh, these are the outputs. Okay, these are the outputs for uh, dispensing products and returning the change. Okay, product A, product B, and returning the Change. change is also one of the output, right? And next one, state encoding can be done using parameters. 
so state uh, encoding can be done using parameters so define states using 3 bit binary encoding so first state so that is initial state so it is uh, see here it is initial state s0 state s5 state s10 state s15 state s20 state so all these are represented using binary 3 bit binary values and uh, after that we have uh, declared the register that is current state in next state these are the state registers and the current state it will store the present state whereas next state uh, it will compute the next state based on the input okay next one is sequential logic for transition okay so here a passage that means uh, it will update the, the machine will update the stage only on the rising edge of the clock okay it will reset the mission to S0 when reset equal to 1. When reset equal to 1, so it will uh, uh, reset the mission to initial state that is S1. So it is what mentioned here. When reset is 1, it will reset to initial state S1. Otherwise, it will go to the next state. Okay. So next, uh, see the uh, next state logic, the most important part of our code. So, okay. So see here, always at the rate, we are using always block and uh, and we are using k statement and k statement checks uh, which state the mission is currently in that's why we are using k statements and uh, initially s naught stage if the uh, mission will be in s naught state that is initial state so see this uh, uh, fsm so if the initial will be in s naught state if we insert a 5 rupees coin if we insert 5 rupees coin so the mission goes to s5 state so uh, when it is in S naught state, if we insert uh, ten rupees coin, so if we insert ten rupees coin, it will goes to S ten state. If no coin is inserted, it will remains in S zero state one. It is what I have written here. Okay, and next one S five state. Similarly, S five state. See here S five state. At S five state, if a five rupees is inserted, it will goes to S ten state. If 10 rupees is inserted, it will goes to S15 state. So if we press the cancel button, immediately it will return to insert state. Okay, otherwise it will stay in S5 state only. So this is what I have written here, S5. Similarly, S10, S S10 state. If 5 rupees is inserted, so if 5 rupees is inserted, it will goes to S15 state. Okay, it will goes to S15 state. If 10 rupees is inserted, it will goes to S20 state. If cancel button is pressed, it will goes to again reset state. That means S0 state. Otherwise, it will lies in S10 state one. This is what I have implemented here. S10. Okay, next one S15. See similar logic. So S15. If I insert uh, the 5 rupees, it will goes to at S15. So at S15, if I insert the 5 rupees. It will goes to S20 state. If cancel button is pressed, it will return to again S0 state. Otherwise, it will remain in S15 state. Of. So, as S20, if I press the cancel button, so immediately it will return to 0. Otherwise, it will remain in same state. Of. Okay, it is an FSM explanation. Same thing I have written here. Okay, next one default state also we have to write. Otherwise, it leads to uh, unwanted latches. Next one output logic most important part so next one we have in uh, written the always part uh, always block always at the rate passage of clock or passage of the reset so see here and uh, we are uh, initializing so when cancel button is uh, so here uh, if reset is one that means if reset is one so outputs all are, all outputs are cleared okay uh, so it changes also one of the output if reset is one all outputs are cleared okay here every clock cycle before checking the state all outputs are reset to zero okay all outputs are reset to zero why because to avoid the unwanted latches so it will minimize the unwanted latches in the circuit okay so see here if uh, if the mission is will be in the s5 state s5 state and uh, if i select uh, the product a zero zero in the sense product a so I am inserting 5 rupees. I am selecting the product A. So I am selecting the product A. Product A is dispensed. Change is 0. It will return no change. Why? Because I am inserting 5 rupees coin. 
I am selecting 5 rupees worth product. So product A is dispensed. So there I am getting no change is needed. Okay, no change is needed for me. And uh, if I insert 10 rupees, similarly, see here, if I insert, uh, if I insert 10 rupees, okay, I am selecting a product A, which is a 5 rupees cost. It will dispense product A and it will, it will also return change also 5 rupees. If I select a product B, that is, which is of worth 10 rupees cost, it will dispense product B, but in this case, no change will be written. Okay, similarly, if I insert 15 rupees, okay, if I insert 15 rupees, so if I select the product B, which is of 10 rupees cost, okay, it will return 5 rupees change. Okay, so next one, S20 state. So if I insert 10 rupees into the machine, Okay, I can select uh, the 5 rupees worth product, it will return 15 rupees change. So, if I can select only 10 rupees, if you can select 10 rupees worth product, that is the uh, product uh, B is selected, it will dispense the product B and for 10 rupees change is also returned. For example, if I select a product C, which is of cost 20 rupees, product C is dispensed and uh, we are uh, expecting the no change. Okay, so after that, uh, this cancel operation is also there. Okay, if I can press the, the cancel button is 1 so it will immediately refund the money so we will get the change change is 1 in means uh, we will get the refund ok Th this is what uh, the design code is ok we have implemented this entire logic entire FSM which is have, having 5 states ok so next we will see the test bench code also after that uh, we will see this uh, RTL schematic references report and all these things so it is a test bench code See here, it is a test bench code. So I have designed. So if you can observe here, so it is a module name vending machine TV input output declarations. After that, instantiation to design code to test bench code. So after that, I have generating uh, the clock signal, which is of 10 nanoseconds period. That means the clock will be toggled for 5 nanoseconds. And uh, we have initial begin. And uh, initially, this output's uh, clock is 0, reset is 1 and cancel button will be 0 and a coin is 0 0 and select is 0 0 ok no coin is inserted and uh, and uh, no product is selected ok and after this I am testing the different test cases to verify the functionality of my design code for example test case 1 if I insert 5 rupees coin and buy a product A ok and test case 2 I am inserting 10 rupees product I am buying product B. Okay, and uh, test case 3, I am inserting 5 rupees coin two times. Okay, and which is of worth I want to buy product A. So I am inserting 10 rupees now, it will return 5 rupees again. It will dispense the product along with it is also written the change. Test case 4, I am inserting 20 rupees now, I am buying product C. Okay, so product C like this test case 5 and finally end simulation and uh, if I want to monitor the signals if I want to print in the TCL uh, console window I am using this dollar monitor system also so that I can able to uh, uh, see so all these signals so let me run the simulation uh, run simulation so first of all see the RTL schematic so it is RTL schematic uh, see this RTL schematic, RTL schematic is generated, oh, so it is an RTL schematic, ok, so let me run the simulation, I have to run behavioral simulation, so let us wait for some time, it is uh, executing the simulation, so see here, I am getting the simulation output, uh, so see here, for example, let me explain this one, uh, for example, see here, I am inserting um, okay zero 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 in the sense uh, no coin is inserted. For example, see here. Uh, yeah, see here. So here I am inserting uh, coin zero one zero one in the sense see here zero one in the sense five rupees coin. So I am inserting five rupees coin. I am selecting a uh, no product. Okay, I am selecting a uh, Sorry, I am selecting the first product that means 00. I am selecting the first product which is of 5 rupees cost. 
I am inserting 5 rupees, I am selecting 5 rupees worth product. So, product is dispensed, but no change is written, change is here. Like this, it will go to be work. If you can see this TCL console window, so we are using roller monitor, no? it will monitor all the signals. So, see here, it will monitor all the signals at uh, every uh, indivisible nanosecond, 40, 30, 45, 50 nanoseconds, etc. Okay, we can able to analyze from this. Uh, okay, we can able to analyze from this. Okay, and after this, uh, uh, run synthesis. Let me run the synthesis. Synthesis is already done, so I am rerunning. See here. So now the synthesis is running. So let's wait for some time. So here the uh, simulation uh, will run up to so 310 nanoseconds. After that, it will go to be halt. Remember this one. Okay. So all the delays we are mentioned here. Okay, all the delays we have mentioned here. Synthesis successfully completed. Okay. So after that, we are initializing the design. So let's wait for some time. So next, uh, running optimized design. So after running the synthesis, we will get this uh, gate level netlist. Okay. And we will get the synthesis reports also. That is power report and uh, Utilization report also we can able to see after running the synthesis. So let's wait for some time. It will take some time to run the uh, synthesis. Uh, so running root design. Mm, see here. Yeah. So we are running the implementation. Synthesis page is already completed. Yeah. Wait for some time and implementation is completed. See here, we are done with the implementation also. And uh, see the uh, report power report. Let me show the power report. So, see here. So, running power analysis, and I am getting the power is uh, uh, 0 0.969 watts total power. So, which is a combination of both static power and uh, dynamic power. The same thing I have uh, implemented in this uh, slide also, I put in this slide also. So it is RTL schematic, that's what we have got and technology schematic that after running synthesis and synthesis report, I am getting this synthesis report uh, and after this it is a simulation report. Okay, if you can see this uh, utilization report also, utilization report is also available here. Let me open this and uh, utilization report and uh, see here the slice LEDs. So, our uh, we have used seven LEDs, there are available 63,400, and it is in utilization percentage. So, it is a complete utilization report. And if you can see here, this uh, bonded IOB values also, and bonded IOB, and we are using only 11 out of 210, and this uh, utilization ratio we are getting is 5.24. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thank you.